Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? So as you guys know, I've been on campus for a couple of weeks now. And right now it is Sunday, the day before classes start back up again. There's actually something that I have not done, even though I've only been here for a couple of weeks. And guess what it is, guys? So I have not tried every single food place on campus yet. It's insane how many places there are to eat on this campus. And even though I've only been here for a few weeks, I've only eaten about like five places, which surprisingly that doesn't even cover half of the food places to eat on campus. So far, I've, re I've eaten at Fresh, which is like an on-campus cafeteria, Chick-fil-A, Steak and Shake, Papa John's, Subway, and I've also gone to the Spencer's Coffee on campus as well. But that's pretty much it. There's still so many more places to eat on campus and it's insane. So you guys are gonna be coming with me and we're gonna challenge this together. So let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm currently on the way to Pan Express. It's over at the Commons Library, which is like a walk from my dorm. Um, I was waiting for one of my friends to kind of get out of class because we both agreed that we'd eat with each other. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> we are standing in the Pan Express line and it's freaking long, right? <laughs> Hold on, let me show you guys real quick. That's like the front of the line, which it doesn't look long, but then it carries all the way back there. Guys, I'm so happy a day just sit in line because if she didn't, I'd be all the way back there. And I literally have class in like an hour and 20 minutes. So I got to get my food. <laughs> Guys, I've secured the goods. Let's try this and see how it tastes. <laughs> I'm eating this with chopsticks. Here's first bite. Mm. Look guys, the orange chicken, so good. Let me show you guys. Mm. Look at that, with fried rice, period. Okay guys, so I just finished eating my food and I mean, like, I know some of you guys like Panda, which, you know, I'm not gonna fight it. But, like, after tasting it for, like, kind of the first time today, I would kind of give it an 8 out of 10. It's good food, I'm not gonna deny it. Excuse me, but there just wasn't enough seasoning and some stuff. But let's go see where the next place is gonna go. Okay, guys, so I just got out of my personal finance class. It's been about two hours since I ate. That Panda Express didn't really fill me up, so I'm about to get something else. This time I'm gonna try Eiffel Pizza on campus, so let's see what their food is like. So this is what my food looks like. I got barbecue chickens, and it's like chicken, bacon, ranch, piece of pizza right here. Guys, I'm so excited to get into this. So pretty much this is how it goes. So Eiffel Pizza, there's like three options that they have. They have option one, which is like you get two slices of pizza. Option two is where you get like pizza and wings, which is the option that I pick. And then option three is like you get like fries, a burger and a drink or something like that. I'm so excited to dig into this. It looks so good, guys. The only pizza that I've had on campus is Papa John's and this might turn out to be better. So let's see. Mm, mm. really good, guys. And then this is the barbecue wings with the ranch. Mmm. I freaking love barbecue chicken, guys. And I'm sure you guys have that crunch too. It's perfect. So I just finished eating all my food. Those wings were so good. <clears throat> Literally some of the best barbecue wings I've ever had. And I can't believe I just got them by using a meal swipe. It's insane. All the places that I haven't been to on campus are pretty much closed now just because they close a lot earlier so we'll have to try this again tomorrow but today was definitely a good day so we're on day two of the food challenge and i just got it in my accounting class guys i just went over a homework problem that i had trouble with over the weekend and i've never felt so dumb in my life but it's fine um luckily my professor explained it to me and i got it right away so that's great but now we are coming back to the comments today, but this time we're trying this place called Road Trip to America or something like that. Okay guys, so I've secured the goods. So now I'm heading back to my dorm to try the food out. Um, but whenever I went there, they only had chicken. So Road Trip America is kind of like, I guess a chicken place on campus. Check this food out guys. It looks so good. 
And what makes it even better is that like this food smells so good. I'm freaking starving. So I'm gonna take my first bite. Oh my gosh, first of all, look how good that chicken looks. Like, ooh. And I got their signature sauce, guys. So I can't wait to try this. Mm. That chicken hits. Mm. Oh my gosh. Seasoned so well too. Mm. Here's the funny part though. I forgot a fork. So, and I got mac and cheese on my side. So we're gonna have to improvise here a little bit, guys. But this food is so good. Oh my goodness. So, this is this chicken kind of reminds me a little bit of raisin canes. But has more of kind of like a western like feel to it. Like a western kick to it i don't know why but it fits like the name road trip america okay guys that meal was so good i cannot get over how good that chicken was 10 out of 10. <laughs> it was like and that sauce oh my goodness their special sauce mm, perfection i'm so happy that i got it oh that chicken was so good and that biscuit guys usually like whenever you get biscuits from like chicken places they're kind of dry but their biscuits were so fresh i have like about maybe two hours before I go to my next class. So I might head out again to a different place I haven't tried yet. I think Einstein's is still open and I really wanna try their stuff so I might head there before I head to class. So I have about give or take 40 minutes before I have to head to my next class. So I'm walking to Einstein's right now to maybe get some hot cocoa if they have any. Hopefully they, they do cause it's freezing out here. Ooh, but guys like, hold on, check out like the fit. I don't know if you guys can see, but like I'm wearing the cargo joggers that I bought from my from my shopping trip. Let's see what Einstein Bros has, because I'm excited to finally try it out on campus. Okay guys, so I pretty much just got a blueberry muffin and a hot cocoa or medium hot cocoa. And they warmed up the muffin for me, which is like great. Okay guys, let's try this blueberry muffin. Okay. I'm down. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if this hot cocoa is good. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm down. 10 out of 10. So it's Wednesday and I'm continuing my food challenge. But before I get to my food challenge, let me give you a little story time. So I had my intro to analytics class this morning and as soon as it ended, I headed out to get some food to continue my food challenge. And as I was walking down a set of stairs, I forgot that there was ice on there. And you know me, I pretty much walk fast. So without me thinking, I was walking fast down those stairs and forgot that there was ice. And next thing you know, I slip. And I literally hit each set of stairs and I'm literally going, uh, 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 the whole time. And there's people around me just watching me. And I'm like, great, I just slipped in front of a whole bunch of people. Luckily, they didn't laugh. Instead, they went, ooh. And I was like, ooh, that hurt so bad. Like, as I was walking to the place I was gonna get food at, I was low-key limping because that freaking hurt. And after that, every single set of stairs I went up on, I walked up slowly and I made sure there was a handlebar so I could hold on to it. So back to a regular program. <laughs> so as you guys saw, I went to a place called Da Vinci's and it's over by Snell Hall, which it's up the hill and it was at least a 10 minute walk away from me. Da Vinci's has like pizza and like sandwiches and stuff like that. So it's basically like any other like sandwich shop or I guess Italian sandwich shop. But um, their customer service was really great, I will say. And I ended up getting the turkey bacon Swiss sandwich, which here, let me show you guys. So this is the turkey bacon Swiss sandwich. Um, it looks plain, but it's on wheat berry bread. And then I also got sun chips to pair with it. I'm so excited to try it because I'm really hungry after all that walking and falling down the stairs. So let's see how this tastes. Bottoms up, guys. Mmm, mm. I'm down. Listen, if that place wasn't so far to walk to, I'd eat there every day. Love the customer service, and this sandwich is bomb. And paired with these sun chips, it's gonna be even better. So I am heading 
to DSU to get some food. Last time you guys saw me, I was eating Da Vinci's and their food was actually pretty good. I ate that thing whole, but I'm not gonna lie to you, that thing did not fill me up. I was still very hungry after I ate it. But I'm now heading to this place called Red Zone in DSU. I've never eaten there, but I'm excited to try out their food. So let's see how this goes. Okay guys, so the goods have been secured and I've got chicken tenders just because this is my first time trying the place out and their value meal menu didn't really have a lot that I wanted. So just to be on the safe side, I got chicken tenders, but it looks so good and I'm so ready to get in because I'm hungry. Check this out though, guys. I got chicken tenders with tater tots. Mm, I'm so happy they offer tater tots. And I got barbecue sauce with it. I'm so excited to eat this thing. Okay, let's dig into the first bite, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. How about the tater tots? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's pretty good. I will say though, if I had to choose between Red Zone's chicken and Road Trip America's chicken, definitely Road Trip America's chicken was better. But this is still good. So it's Thursday and I just got out of my accounting class and that's, I'm pretty much done with that class for the rest of the week. But I went to go get lunch on campus and one of the places I've been trying all week to eat at was finally open today. So today I got food from Rising Roll and it's like the campus version of Panera Bread. And I got the ham cheeser sandwich on a multigrain bowl. And I also got barbecue chips to go with it, but I'm so excited to try it. A lot of people say it's not all that, but I'll be the judge of that. Okay, but like, can we just talk about the presentation of this thing? Like, look at all these ingredients just layered and laying perfectly in the sandwich. Like, mm, period. Okay, let's try this out. Mm, oh my gosh. I think the cheese has some kind of spice in it, but mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what people are talking about. This sandwich slaps. Look, y'all, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch, but honestly, I've just about hit every place on this campus. The only place I haven't hit is Hilltopper Hub. And, um,. No, that's pretty much the only place I haven't hit yet is Hilltopper Hub. So I just got out of my Microsoft Sheets class and now I'm headed or I'm gonna try to head to Hilltopper to try out their food. I'm a little scared, but this is the last thing I need to do to complete my food challenge. So I'm gonna try and finish out strong. So let's do this thing. Okay guys, so I'm in Hilltopper right now eating this food and I've asked around a lot about Hilltopper and what nobody told me was that it is a buffet style type of place. So right now they're in their transition period so they're just getting salad and um, oh they just have salad and pizza which is I made my own salad. So what my salad looks like. And the really cool part about Hilltopper is that whenever you ask for pizza you get to make your own pizza. So. Just for simple purposes, I just got a regular pepperoni pizza, but I can't wait to try this food. So I'm eating my salad. It's pretty good. The vegetables are pretty fresh, which is always the best part about salad. And guys, I couldn't find forks, so I'm eating with a spoon. So that's how my day's going. Okay, but like check out this pepperoni pizza. It was like baked to perfection. And I, was, I saw him putting cheese on there. And he literally put just the right amount to get like the perfect look. See how this pizza goes. Um, let's, oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, I know you guys saw that. That, that shows how fresh the pizza is. Mmm, I'm pretty good. I'm really impressed they make this every single time someone orders it. But guys, I did it. I completed my food challenge. As you guys saw, I completed my food challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much I got to eat at all the places that I haven't, hadn't eaten yet on campus. And honestly, it was the best experience that I could have had, guys. 
Ironically enough, I'm filming the ending to this video literally like a week after I started the challenge. So it's been a little while. And honestly, ever since I did that food challenge, I feel more comfortable on campus just because I did kind of explore places outside of my comfort zone and it feels great guys literally as i've been trying to figure out what places to eat throughout the week i'm like hmm i could go here but then i could also go here like i've just i just haven't been afraid to like choose or go to the options that i had which is amazing and hilltopper guys i was so happy i conquered that place because i was so scared going in there initially i had a lot of fears going into it and a lot of people were telling me about what Hilltopper was like and there were like positive and negative comments and I was just like, okay, that's that's great, you know? Might as well give me everything so I'm prepared. That food challenge really helped expand my comfort zone on this campus so I couldn't ask for anything better. Now, if I were to go through each place and kind of like give it a rating or like see which one I would like better, I would definitely say that like, between the two chicken places or the two places that had chicken out which was like red zone and road trip america i would definitely choose road trip america over red zone just because road trip america's chicken reminds me of like raising canes chicken which i love raising canes but it like had their own twist to it which i absolutely loved it was like a type of chicken that you couldn't get anywhere else while red zone's chicken was more of the kind of chicken that you'd find in like a regular restaurant which is like not a bad thing the only thing about road trip america was like their portion was like small or at least small for me because I, I eat a lot after I ate the meal from Road Trip America I was not full and I remember going to class and I was like wow I'm still hungry while Red Zone kind of filled me up more so that was like a plus for it you guys saw me eat like at two sandwich places too Rising Roll and Da Vinci's Da Vinci's I will definitely say that their customer service was like amazing absolutely love the customer service there um, and Rising Roll's presentation was what really stood out to me. Really loved the way they layered the, the food, like the sandwich itself. It was very aesthetic. And like the, the flavors of the sandwich at Rising Roll, it like had spice to it. Like, I don't know what it was, but like it was like the cheese or something, but there was something about the ingredients that just kind of stood out to me more. So I would probably pick Rising Roll over Da Vinci's. Plus it's not as far because if I were to go to Da Vinci's, I would have to walk at least 10 minutes just to get there, which that's a stroke for me because <laughs> it's uphill. And then, oh, Panda Express. So you guys kind of got to see like my reaction initially with that, but their food wasn't bad. Their food was actually good, but I personally have had like authentic Chinese food. So like if I were to compare it to authentic Chinese food, it, it's not as seasoned as authentic Chinese food is, which is what kind of made me like, like kind of have the ifs about Pan Express. The whole purpose of this food challenge wasn't to rate these places, but was to kind of expand my comfort zone on campus and to let me try food places that I hadn't tried yet. And I also got to like find out about like different areas of campus that I didn't know existed, which is amazing because now I can like kind of go out on my own and find my own like little area if I need to. But thank you guys so much for watching this food challenge and kind of coming with me through this food challenge. I will say this food challenge was a lot easier to do just because I knew that like eventually you guys would be seeing this. So like throughout the whole time I was vlogging, it's like I was talking to you guys even though you guys weren't there. So it really made things easier for me. It, definitely stay in tune for more content. I will be uploading or I will try to upload every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for the support you have shown me. I have been doing my share of research and doing everything I can to improve the quality of my content and to give you guys even better content in the future so definitely be on the lookout and keep up with me because I'm not stopping here I'm gonna keep going and I hope you guys like comment and subscribe and definitely comment if you guys want to see me do anything specific in the future thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye